uh, hi dear students in this video uh, i will just discuss about the composition of function so the definition of composition of function is just a given function f and g the composition of f and g denoted by f composition g uh, is a function denoted by f composition g of x is equals to f of g of x so to the mean of the composition of function is just uh, we just substitute uh, a function a substitute a function in the place of our independent uh, variable we just uh, uh, replace our independent variable by a function uh, that is just a composition of a, a function that's a definition of a composition of a composition of a function and now to understand this definition we just take an example uh, we just uh, right here two functions which are given uh, first is f of x is equals to x square and g of x is equals to x plus 1 so uh, if, if we have to find the com f composition g so it means we just uh, write here the f composition g of x means f of g of x we have to find f of g of x so the f of g of x means we just replace our independent variable we just replace our independent variable x by another function by a another function so uh, to solve this uh, we have we have f of x is uh, the f of x is given which is equals to x square so to find the composition of f of uh, f composition g we replace our uh, independent variable another function which is g of x so just we replace uh, our x by g of x so in all the our in all our equation so here is also x so we also replace this x by g of x and uh, here is square so what is the value of g of x which is given uh, g of x is equals to x plus 1 so we just put the value of g of x which is equals to x plus 1 square so similarly uh, we can find uh, in the same way g composition f so if we have to find the g composition f which can read, read write as g composition f on x uh, which is equals to g of f of x so in a similar way we have to replace our uh, g of x the independent variable in g of x by uh, another function which is f of x so uh, what is the g of x g of x is equals to g of x is equals to x plus 1 and we have to replace this uh, x by another function which is uh, our composition uh, f of x so we replace x by f of x that is equals to uh, here also replace x by f of x plus 1 so what value of f of x which is given that is equals to x square plus 1 so that that is our f composition uh, g composition f so <clears throat> so in same way we can find uh, the uh, composition function of any uh, given two function two or more function so to uh, the one thing more uh, added in this composition function is uh, composition function and domain <coughs> sorry function composition function and domain domain of functions composition of function and domain so uh, how we can find the domain of composition of functions so dear students uh, I already explained in my previous uh, lecture in arithmetic operations in a similar way as uh, we can find the domain of a composition function so which the function which is substituted by a, a independent variable here when uh, we find f composition g we replace our independent variable uh, x by g of x so though so we have to uh, see what the uh, domain of g of x so the domain of g of x should be uh, the domain of f of 
g of x so we we'll just take another example here uh, we already know about what the domain of f of x the domain of f of x is whole set of real number g of x is a whole set of real number so it is this example is not uh, uh, the suitable to find uh, to to understand the uh, domain of this function we just take another example which is uh, because uh, whenever we find these domain of these functions uh, f of x the composition functions so uh, both have the same domain so uh, the domain of f of g f x is also be same uh, minus uh, set of all real number minus infinite to positive infinite so to understand the domain and range and composition of function we take just another example which is a little bit complicated so the example is given let f of x is equals to x square plus 3 and g of x which is equals to square root x so now we just uh, we have to uh, find the domain of f of uh, f composition g or g composition f so we write here uh, first we have to find f composition g on x which is equals to f of g of x so uh, what is f of x f of x is just x square plus 3 so we have to replace our f to find the f composition g we have to replace our x by g of x so f of g of x will be equals to uh, here we also we replace x by g of x and uh, uh, is square plus 3 and g of x is equals to square root x plus uh, square root x uh, whole square plus 3 after cancellation it will be equals to after cancellation it will be equals to x plus 3 so that is our f composition g of x uh, we can also write here f composition g so now we have to find the domain of f composition uh, g so to find the domain of these function we just uh, uh, write the domain of both functions domain of both function domain of f of x is uh, just write here domain of f of x is domain of f uh, of x that is equals to set of all real number we can put here because there is no uh, radical sign or a fraction term so uh, there is no restri restriction imposed on f of x so we can put any number from set of real numbers so domain of f of x is uh, minus infinite to positive infinite so that is the domain of f of x so domain of g of x domain of g of x will be uh, because there is a, a radical sign so some restrictions are imposed whenever the square root term comes we have to make sure uh, the term under radical sign must be greater than equals to zero so uh, the domain of g of x is uh, the this this term under the radical sign must be uh, uh, non zero non negative for all the values start from zero to positive infinite so domain of this uh, function g of x is from zero to positive infinite so now we have to find the domain of domain of f of g of x that is the problem uh, we have to find f of g of x so dear students the our our uh, the input value is g of x and the domain of g of x is 0 to positive infinite so our function of f is restrict the input values which are uh, starting from 0 to uh, positive infinite so the domain of f of g of x depends on the domain of f composition uh, of g the domain of f composition of g depends on g of x because g of x is here our input values so the domain of g of x is 0 to infinite 0 to positive infinite so that's why the domain of f composition of g of x is 0 to positive infinite because g of x is our input value input function in our f so the domain of g of x uh, the domain of whole this expression f of g of x is g of x because input value is g of x and g of x domain is uh, 0 to positive infinite we just write here the domain of 
f of g of x is just I just write here is start from zero to positive infinite. Uh, so that is the domain of f composition. Or just the, in in same way we can find any uh, other uh, domain of any other uh, composition of function. So to find the domain of function, one I just explain one more thing. We cannot uh, uh, to do a domain of this expression, the final result. We cannot be uh, uh, suppose the domain of the final result which is after simplification f of g we just write the domain of our function f of x and g of x then which function uh, are substituted by a variable the domain of this this function will be the domain of uh, whole composition uh, expression so this is a composition of function and the domain of composition function to watch um, the more informatic videos for you uh, please subscribe my channel and press the icon button thank you for watching